Hello and welcome to Parliament Weekly, your home for the... Hold on, I have really missed you guys and I'm very sure you missed me too. But don't worry, I am back to give you the biggest, juicy and most important news out of the Nigerian Parliament every week. You know how we do it now. I am Sharon Abuesomi. A federal high court in Abuja has dismissed a suit filed by Senator Adamu Bukachua in which he sought to restrain the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission from interrogating or arresting him over his remarks during the valedictory session of the Ninth National Assembly. Justice Inyang Ekwo on Tuesday ruled that the suit lacked merit and ought to be dismissed. The judge also stressed that Bukachua, being a lawmaker, should have known the implications of the remark he made on the floor of the Senate. Well, if you recall, Bukachua, a former lawmaker in the viral video clip on June 12, claimed that he influenced his wife, who was also a former president of the Court of Appeal, to assist his colleagues at the National Assembly. And this is exactly what led to the call for his arrest. Particularly my wife, whose freedom and independence I encroached upon while she was in office. And she has been very tolerant and accepted my encroachment and extended her help to my colleagues. A 26-year-old lawmaker, Rukayat Motunra Yoshitsu, has voiced her concern about the increased use and glamorized promotion of drugs and other substances by celebrities in the country. <laughs> It'd be like say Kasala Gosun boss on top some of the celebrities here though. Anyways, Honorable Shitsu recently expressed this concern on her ex handle, where she also informed that she had sent a letter of request to the National Broadcasting Corporation, the National Assembly and other stakeholders proposing specific media regulations to control the spread of drug related content, particularly on social media. The young lawmaker who represents the Obode Oni Rave constituency in the Kwara State House of Assembly said the proposed media regulations would apply to the spread and promotion of drug related content, primarily by show business figures on social media, music videos, movies, skits, reality shows, and other media. She went on to say that the need for such rules arose from the fact that drugs and other substance addiction is a major factor in the recent significant increase in the number of youths perpetrating crimes. I need not say more on this because it is undeniably a very crucial matter that continues to cause harm, especially amongst the youths. I strongly hope that this is addressed as quickly as possible. And just before I move on to the next series, please do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Don't forget to also like this video, comment, and share. Moving on, Senator Shea Hussani, a civil rights leader, has said that the recent wave of coup taking place across Africa is mostly due to the inability of civilian governance to address the problems of poverty and insecurity. Sani expressed his viewpoint on Friday in reaction to his previous tweet encouraging Africans and all stakeholders to stop focusing on the reasons behind the rise of military coup and instead inquire why democracy was failing in Africa. This and much more he explained during a discourse held in commemoration of this year's International Day of Democracy by Other Paper Nigeria as part of its online parliament series, which is known as Other Paper Parliamentary Engagement Nigeria, Open Space. And finally, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Rep. Judin Abbas, has advocated for the creation of a directorate for legislative aid in the National Assembly to act as a pool for the recruitment of legislative aid by lawmakers. The Speaker made the call on Wednesday when the Executive Chairman of the National Assembly Service Commission, Engineer Ahmed Kadin Amshi, led a delegation to his office. The new directorate, according to Abbas, will allow legislators to hire qualified and experienced aides who will help them succeed in their legislative duty. 
Abbas expressed his intention to help promote excellence and professionalism in the National Assembly for maximum productivity. Well, this is where we wrap it up on this week's episode. Do well to join us next week for another interesting episode. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>